Breaking news. Uh, Jeremy Renner is apparently critical but stable after a snow plowing incident. Like, I don't understand the sort of double negative there or the contradictory element. He's in a critical condition, but he's stable. I guess that's more, it's a, I mean, it is a critical injury that he suffered, but is stable with it? To me, they, they seem contradictory. But this is tragic. Like, I really like Jeremy Renner. I think he's a good dude. Um, and I like, I've liked a lot of what he's been in. I mean, even if you remove, if you remove uh, his Marvel movies, I like the stuff he's been in. I think he's a good actor. I think he needs to be in more things. And so it's sad when people that are pretty down to earth, uh, even with, regardless whether in the Hollywood community or not, suffer incidences like this. Especially Jeremy Renner, just because he seems like a, a like a pretty stand up dude, quite frankly. Uh, but this is the report from Deadline, uh, and it says Jeremy Renner is in critical but stable condition with injuries suffered after experiencing a weather related accident while plowing snow earlier today. His spokesperson told Deadline on Sunday. I don't under, I mean, we don't get a massive amount of snow in the UK, so we don't do snow plowing. It's not something that we do. Uh, so I'm struggling to believe. I, I don't understand how you can get into a, a critical condition with a snow plow. And maybe you fell off it or something like that, which, if that is the case, that sounds terrible. That sounds real, real bad. So, again, the article continues and it's just, you know, Rene, uh, Renner, you know, a two time Oscar nominee, is the star of the returning Paramount Plus series, The Mayor of Kingstown. Marvel's Hawkeye series, although that doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with uh, the Hawkeye series at the moment. I enjoyed season one. I know loads of people didn't, but I quite liked it. So Deadline had heard word of an accident and that Renner had been airlifted. So that is really serious. I know whenever airlifts happen in the UK anyway, that is genuinely serious. But I guess maybe because he's snow plowing, maybe an ambulance couldn't come out. Or maybe, uh, I, I guess there's two trains of thought there. An ambulance just wouldn't really get there quick enough. I don't know. Um, but an airlift in the UK is very serious, generally speaking. It can't wait. Because uh, obviously it costs so much money. And in the States, it, it costs even more money because you have to pay for it. But in the UK, yeah, an airlift is, is pretty substantial. Um, so he was airlifted earlier yesterday, Sunday, to hospital. Uh, his spokesperson said his family is with him now and he is receiving excellent care. And then obviously, you know, we'll be told more when we hear about it. So the Reno Gazette Journal said uh, Renner has a home in the area near Mount Rose Ski Tahoe. Uh, I think that's what Tahoe is, yeah. Uh, about 25 miles from Reno. The region saw a winter storm hit on New Year's Eve that resulted in 35,000 homes across northern Nevada's Washoe, Carson, Douglas, Story, and Lyon counties losing power as of this morning, according to the paper. Uh, Renner scored a Best o uh, Actor Oscar nomination in 2010 for The Hurt Locker and landed a Supporting Actor Oscar nom the next year for The Town. He was also really good uh, in a movie called Wind River, which I really, really liked, which was all about the tragic, and it is tragic, lack of documentation over uh, Native uh, American women, uh, their sort of sexual assaults and rapes and murders and things uh, going completely just unnoticed by anyone. Real shame. Massive, massive, massive shame. Um, but he was very good in that film. Uh, and Oh, they even said, yeah, when I previously starred in Sheridan's 2017 drama Wind River. Uh, and that was a great film. And I think, if anything, actually, he should have been uh, nominated for something from that movie, because that was a very, very good movie. But look, this is tragic. Uh, it's breaking news. It is a shame. Critical but stable. I don't know what would have happened to him. And again, critical but stable does sound a bit like a double negative in some regards. But it's a shame. Uh, it's absolutely tragic. So just thought I'd give you this quick video update on this. A uh, bit of a sad way to, to, to bring in the new year. You know, we're the 2nd of January uh, and this news has hit. But there you have it, ladies and gents. Hope you have a fantastic new year. Hope you're all well. Give the video a like and please do share it. Subscribe to the channel for more. I know it's not the normal type of video, but this is important stuff, uh, I think, personally. And especially when there's good actors out there 
uh, generally nice people. Uh, it's a shame when this kind of stuff happens to them. So it's good to do uh, a bit of a news report on it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, ladies and gents. If you know what kind of an injury he would have sustained from a snowplow, I'd, I'd genuinely be curious. This is why YouTube is a good platform. Being from the UK, we don't snowplow. I don't know what injuries could occur. What could have happened with a snowplow? Again, I've got no idea. Let me know down below uh, in the comment section. Now, I will say this as well. It doesn't look like he's on anything substantial coming up. So I don't think that this will affect anything um, with respect to you know filming or anything along those lines. Which maybe that's a shame as well because it'd be good to see him in more stuff. But uh, hopefully he'll just sort of crack on, make a speedy recovery uh, and we'll see him on screen again. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.